day and welcome to another episode of The Proof, the show where we separate fact from fiction in the world of news and social media. I'm your host, Darshan Usman, and today we're addressing a sensitive issue that's been trending online. A post from an account on X, formerly known as Twitter, has been making waves claiming to be from former Nigerian military leader Ibrahim Babangida. The post calls for the arrest of those behind the hashtag Igbo must go trend, a troubling campaign against the Igbo community in Lagos. But is this truly Babangida speaking out against the hate campaign or is it something else at play? Well, we'll uncover that when we get back from this break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Joining us on today's episode is Muktar Balogun, a researcher from Africa Czech, to help us get to the bottom of this. Welcome, Muktar. Thank you, Dashen. I'm glad to be here. Uh, let's dive right in. On August 2nd, 2024, a post appeared on X from an account named Ibrahim B. Babangida with the handle at General underscore Ibro. Now, the post condemned the hashtag Ibo must go trend and called for the federal government to arrest those behind it. Now, the trend itself is a threat against the Ibo community, urging them to leave Lagos or face protests later this month. With over 91,000 followers and a message that resonates with many Nigerians, this post gained significant traction. But before we take it at face value, let's address the big question. Did Ibrahim Babangida post this? Well, uh, the short answer is no, he did not. Uh, while the account advocates for peace and unity uh, in Nigeria, you know, it is important uh, you know, to point out the fact that Ibrahim Babangida uh, is not the one uh, behind that account. So uh, it is a parody account. That's an excellent tip for our viewers. Now let's talk about the content of the post. Even though the account is fake, the message is one of peace and unity, calling for the arrest of those behind the Igbo must go trend. Now why do you think a parody account will post something like this? Yeah, parody accounts can serve uh, different purposes. Uh, in this particular post, uh, you know, the post may have been intended, you know, to support the narrative against the Ibu must go, you know, campaign by invoking, uh, you know, inserting the name of a respected figure like, you know, uh, Babangida in Nigeria. So the idea is that, you know, if a prominent uh, personality or uh, influential figure is seen, you know, to be condemning uh, the trend, it might, you know, uh, sway public opinion or even put pressure on uh, the authorities, you know, to act. However, uh, it is still misleading, you know, because it gives the impression that Babangida himself made that statement, which in fact, uh, you know, he did not. Great point, Mukhtar, on the parody account. However, it is quite misleading because Babangida didn't actually make the statement. But let's take a quick break. And when we return, we'll look at the impact of misinformation and how to verify social media posts. Stay tuned. Here are uh, three tips on verifying information on on WhatsApp. I, um, one is you know try to verify the source. You can ask the person who sent it to you where did they get it from and try to trace it back to where that information came from. Number two, um, if it is about a big breaking news, you can uh, look at credible media platform to determine. Uh, whether you know other people are reporting this uh, big news number three uh, is that if it has photos or videos you can download the photo or video and and do a re reverse image search by uploading the photo on on google and search for, as image and to determine whether you are dealing with an old or unrelated uh, photo for more tips on on how to uh, verify information um, follow up Africa Check on Facebook, uh, uh, X, and, and Instagram at Africa Check underscore NG. Welcome back. 
back and thank you for sticking with us. I still have with me Mukhtar Balogun. Let's talk about the response from officials. You mentioned that Babengida doesn't have any social media accounts. Now, what has been the reaction from his camp or other official sources regarding this parody account? Yeah, Babangida himself has previously stated that he doesn't use social media. Uh, in this particular case, a media consultant named uh, Deyemi Saka confirmed to us that uh, the account is a parody. We also mentioned that they've reached out to you know both Nigerian authorities and uh, X Corporation, you know, to to have the account deactivated. So this highlights, uh, you know, the ongoing challenges public figures face uh, in managing their digital uh, identities and protecting, you know, their reputations online. It is clear that misinformation and parody accounts are significant issues, especially in today's fast-paced digital environment. Now, what steps can viewers take to protect themselves? from being misled by similar content in future? Thank you, Dashen. Uh, that's an important question. So the first step is to approach any sensational or unexpected content with uh, caution. Uh, this is one of the many messages we give to our readers, you know, to view our information uh, with uh, doubt in their mind. So verify the source uh, by checking if the account is official. Uh, this is very important and look for if verification uh, has been done by the uh, trusted news outlets uh, in Nigeria. So if something seems off, it's probably, you know, is. So additionally, people should be wary of accounts that, you know, have only recently been created or have a minimal activity outside of posting a uh, controversial uh, content and finally uh, users should report any uh, suspicious accounts to the platform in order to uh, prevent the spread of uh, misinformation thank you so much Mukhtar for joining us today and helping us unpack this issue it's clear that while the internet can be a powerful tool for spreading information it also is a space where misinformation can easily take root if we are not careful. Thank you, Dashen. It's been a pleasure discussing with you. And thank you, our viewers, for tuning in to The Proof. If you have comments or claims you want us to fact check, tweet at africacheck underscore ng. Follow News Central on our social media platforms. We are at News Central TV. You can also visit our website. It's www.newscentral.africa. Stay informed and stay alert. Until next time, I'm Darshan Usman, signing out.